So I'm gonna pop back in here. Uh, I apologize, I ran, ran out of storage on my iPad. We left off in acting boldly, <clears throat> talking about Proverbs uh, 31, and I'm gonna move over and we'll finish. We only have a couple slides to go. Again, I'm sorry. Uh, so on this video, uh, virtual lesson seven, there's gonna be two videos. So uh, move forward, I can't, I don't know how to edit the other one. I'll have to take a look, but let me move over here. Again, we were talking about acting boldly, and we, uh, we we need to rely on God, but but do something, act. Uh, as we said, the we need to work vigorously. Uh, we need to make sure our lights are on. <laughs> we are out there earning. We are working. We're considering what we're doing. Uh, we are tooled, talented, and trained to overcome crisis. To tool, talented, and trained to work uh, in good times and bad. times. And we need to understand that we need to do what we can and trust God to do his part. Next, we're going to see that bold breeds bold. Paul has spoken out. <clears throat> he's, he's encouraged. He's uh, sp uh, spoke to people. He's moved them to action. Uh, and, and again, that's going to move others to act as well. So let's take a look at Acts 27, 42 through 43. The soldiers planned to kill the prisoners to prevent any of them from swimming away and escaping. Again, Roman uh, rule was <clears throat> that uh, if you had a prisoner uh, that you were guarding and he got away, you got his sentence. So if the prisoner was sentenced to death, you were going to die. So the soldiers had, had issues. They, they didn't want the prisoners to escape and then they had to take their penalty. But the centurion, Julius, wanted to spare Paul's life, and he kept them from carrying out their plan. He ordered those who could swim to jump overboard first and get to land. Mutiny would have been easy. We had these soldiers. Their, their lives were at stake here if the prisoners got away, um, and it was them against the centurion. Uh, we could also have the fact that, you know, you had the owner of the ship maybe making promises to them or telling them, hey, let's, let's lighten the load. Let's get rid of some of these people. Um, we need to make sure we have enough food and can handle uh, the, the passengers or at least, you know, part of the crew. Um, we need to understand that mutiny would have been easy for these soldiers, especially against the centurion. And Paul's just a prisoner to them. He may have encouraged them. He may have spoke boldly. He may have uh, been very knowledgeable about the storm. But um, that would have been second to them. You know, it's, it's hey, we need to save our own lives. Um, uh, Julius needed to command his post. He was a centurion, and he needed to do it now because it would have been pretty easy for the soldiers just to kill him. They've, they've already... Uh, you know, dash the escape plans of the of the crew. Now they're they're trying to save their own lives, uh, and Julius had to step up. He needed to take what Paul had done, this boldness, and use it for himself and to stand against these men. And what he did, what he did do, was his savings of Paul also saved the other prisoners. This was important. This boldness to save one prisoner. Uh, because of that little bit of relationship, because he has he has faith uh, in Paul, not God, but he has faith in Paul. Paul's knowledgeable. Paul, everything Paul said so far has been correct. He's been nailing it. So you know, I'm, I'm sure he's saying, "Hey, you know, we need this guy along with us." But because he saved Paul, he saved the other prisoners, and that's a pretty bold thing to do. Stepping up and not understanding, you know, the situation. He stood up to these soldiers and, and his own team and said, hey, no, this isn't going to happen. You need to keep them up. Not only that, he stepped up boldly by ordering them. He didn't just say, no, no, no. He ordered them. He took command uh, uh, of the situation. And in his savings of all, no hair would be lost. This allowed God's plan to move forward. This allowed God's plan that Paul would shared a message in Rome uh, with if any of these little situations, the, the, the 
crew escaping, uh, the uh, ship uh, being sunk, uh, the soldiers killing prisoners, that would have stopped God's plan. And we need to really look at this because of all these little points that were being hit, this speech, the encouragement, the acting, and that being seen by Julius, and he acted in a bold way. This allowed God's plan to move forward, allowed Paul to eventually get to Rome. So the results were, because of this, we see in Acts 27, 44, the rest were to get there on planks or on other pieces of the ship. In this way, everyone reached land safely. So the results were, were good. The, the, the boldness of this plan, the boldness of their actions, the boldness of their encouragement and speech resulted in Julius stepping up and allowing everyone to reach land safely. Um, so again, I apologize for uh, adding this little two-minute clip or three-minute clip to the end. I'm going to move over here. Everybody knows I like my little stool. Um, sorry, I'll <laughs> check my, my my storage space for next week. Uh, I had to delete. I had seven videos on there, and they were just sucking up a lot of space. So we cleaned that up. Uh, we're closing out. Uh, thanks for, for joining us. I hope uh, everybody's... Uh, uh, enjoying these virtual lessons. Uh, like PJ said today, it's hard to, uh, when you're used to talking to a crowd, and <laughs> you hear, hear, I'm used to talking to 17, 20 people in my room. Uh, now we're talking to an iPad. So I'll get used to it. Uh, uh, John, make sure I'm looking straight in the camera. Uh, anyways, we want to make sure we have time. We pray and read. Uh, read your scripture. Uh, it's, it's easy. You know, you, you, I pray in the morning. Pray in the evening, pray at supper time, uh, but uh, pick up your scripture, read a couple chapters a day. It's amazing how fast you can get through a book, uh, uh, Acts, Hebrews. I'm in Hebrews now, and it's like, oh, I'll never get through this, but pretty soon it's, it's pretty quick. Uh, and you'll find yourself reading back to say what's going on. Uh, we are in uncertain times, so this is our time to be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Uh, we can trust and know the certainty of God. Uh, we can trust and know there is a plan. We can trust and know that he is trying to infuse some wisdom in our leaders. Uh, and we can pray for that, pray for that wisdom. Uh, stay safe. Um, we are opening up uh, Texas, uh, Oklahoma, Louisiana. People are starting to open. But that doesn't mean, you know, throw caution to the wind. Let's still follow safe practices. Uh, we do have uh, uh, people that with immune deficiencies. We do have uh, elderly uh, um, family and friends. Uh, but uh, we want to keep them safe. Uh, wash your hands, cover your sneezes. Hey, go for a walk. Uh, Patty and I went to Brushy Creek Trail. If you haven't been there, it's off of Brushy Creek and, um, and Palmer. Phenomenal. We haven't been there in a long time. It's expanded. It goes over. The day. It's pretty cool. We, were, we took the dogs out there. We did five miles uh, there, you know, uh, walked, walked about two and a half, three miles, and then back. Uh, it was very cool. And if you go just towards the evening, the sun's setting, there's lots of shade, um, lots of people out there, but um, uh, enjoy it. If you haven't been to Brushy Creek Trail, I highly recommend it. But get out of the house, you know. Uh, um, you know, Don't sit in your room with the shades down. Open it up, it's a beautiful day. Uh, God has, has given us sunshine and 90 degree weather, thank you. <laughs> So enjoy yourself. And again, uh, my apologies. Uh, take a look at both uh, videos. I'm gonna have to, I'll go back and see how I can edit the other one. Maybe I can tie these together uh, before I push them in. So uh, stay safe. Thanks for joining me. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, uh, and if you have any comments, send them to my email. Thank you. Bye-bye.